Once one has become a psychic citizen of Atlantis by passing the Contributors Club ritual, they may choose to pursue additional rank in Atlantis, which makes them eligible for holding office in its government or church banks. There are three such extra rank rituals, and they are collectively called Egyptian Masonry, due to the plot of the drama they describe. The first of these rituals is hosted in the Water Lodge, whose bricks are orange on blue mortar, and whose symbol is the blue isosahedron. The moral of the ritual is to explain that some of the written records of history are not factual. Introducing the psychic student to this concept slowly, the guide explains the meaning of the Courier's Guild ritual to teach the student to be able to clearly discern right and truth from wrong and lies. The student lies down in the middle of the darkened vault. Gradually, dawn rises and they see they are lying in a sea of sand surrounded by dunes for miles on all sides. From the direction of the sunrise, Imhotep approaches. He stops at the head of the candidate, thinking aloud about his mission as vizier for the three kings. In order to build the three massive tombs, the Egyptian pharaohs envisioned, they have commissioned Imhotep to resurrect a massive workforce from the dead. Imhotep stands at the candidate's head and magically summons Nyarlathotep, the ghost of an ancient sorcerer who knew the ways of necromancy. Nyarlathotep, after explaining how he plans to do so, reluctantly agrees to serve Imhotep their pact is that, while Narlehotep walks alive raising the dead, Imhotep will take the elder wizard's place in hell. Then the lights come on, and the second initiation ritual is complete. The third initiation ritual, the second of the set called Egyptian Masonry, is hosted in the Air Lodge, with bricks of pink and mortar yellow, capped by a yellow dodecahedron. This ritual is called Tahotep's Double Cross, and its moral is to teach the student the good of working in groups to accomplish goals. In this ritual, the candidate is guided into the darkened vault and the door closed behind them. The candidate steps down into water and is greeted in the gloom by the living Nyarlathotep, who welcomes the candidate to the caves below the Giza Plateau. On a small island in the middle of the dark cave are twin pillars made of internally illuminated crystal. Nyarlathotep explains he intends to kill the candidate, seal the gateway, leave Imhotep in hell, and for himself to live forever. Imhotep's voice comes from between the twin crystal pillars and the actor portraying the living Nyarlathotep becomes Imhotep alive again. As the true form of Nyarlathotep attacks through the portal, Imhotep commands the candidate, playing the part of Tuahotep, to summon the dead workers to help fend off Nyarlathotep. There the third ceremony ends. The fourth, highest, and final ritual offered to any citizen of Atlantis is hosted in the Elemental Lodge of Fire, the bricks of which are blue, the mortar orange, and the symbol of which is the orange octahedron. The ritual's moral is to explain the full purpose of the Egyptian masonry set of initiations, and to fix the candidate in the highest mindset of personal accomplishment. As the ritual begins, the candidate, representing Imhotep, is lying down in the center of the darkened vault. Using smoke and a picture held in front of a bright spotlight, the image of a bright, enormous eye blinks into being above the candidate. A booming voice from the direction of the candidate's head addresses itself as God, and proceeds to deliver a short lecture to the candidate. The voice of God reprimands Imhotep for performing necromancy, and explains the consequences his actions have had in heaven, as we saw in the first initiation ritual the dream of the three kings. After this, the light blinks out, and the candidate sees in the direction of their feet the same crystal columns in the cave from the last ritual. 
The voice recites a few lines as Imhotep repeated from the last ritual. And this concludes the fourth and final initiation ritual of Egyptian masonry in Atlantis.